Dear Ninja Memoirs, we're back at it again. Today, we're actually sitting at, I think it is, day three? Yeah, I think three. All right, day three. And I think at this point, we're doing pretty well. We're at 77K, and we're going to be tackling Tower of Eternity. My God, Tower of Eternity. Why the hell do they call it that? Oh, wait. It's not because there's only 90 floors. It's because if you don't log in every single day for the rest of your life, you will actually lose the floor that you're on. Oh my god, I bet you nobody knew that. Well, it's time to show everybody Tower of Eternity. Let's get it on. What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again with another Ninja Tribes video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Ninja Memoirs 3. Day 3 is going to be none other than going over where you should be in the game right now if you're, if you're kind of following my path. Uh, and we're going to be talk, tackling Tower of Eternity and how to actually set up teams for it and how far we can get. I'm not going to show you the entire battle obviously, but I'll show you a couple battles here and there that make sense. Uh, and what teams you should be using. Now healers are very prevalent in Tower of Eternity as are D units which are going to be tanks for you and keep you buffed up. Uh, and of course nukes are very important as well. So we're going to do a couple different teams for you guys. And and tribes will actually help yes that's right tribe specials will help you in tower of eternity it will get you further in the game uh so make sure you guys focus on some tribe units to get you going now uh before we go any further day 377k just so you guys are aware uh, i've got 1587 saved now i'm not summoning i am literally going through uh, all my events now i will show you guys this I actually went ahead and did 10 matches and got up to uh, daily rank 24. Now the reason why I did 10 matches, I explained to you guys in the last videos, I can now beat teams because my team is looking a little more optimal. So I will show you guys my team real quick. Uh, and the reason why it's looking more optimal is I am now preparing uh, all my units, getting their gear up, and also putting together a lot of their skills. Uh, so make sure guys, I did warn you guys as well about this, is when you guys have the Shinobi ready, Every 20 minutes, you guys should be logging on and giving yourselves those skills, right? So make sure you are putting effort into getting your skills up uh, because that will actually end up uh, helping you greatly in PvP as well as PvE content. Don't neglect skills. Every 20 minutes, you should be able to jump on here and give yourself what you need. And also, don't forget gear. Gear is very important, guys. You should be farming your elite stages, getting yourself fragments every day, three minimum, uh, and getting the, the shinobi that you're looking for to max out as soon as you can. Now, I will say this, with gear, you should be going only for the first two. These ones are a little more optional, so make sure you guys are putting in the, uh, the first two for sure on your shinobis that you can max out. And lastly, uh, keep up with the storyline. That's right, the riveting storyline that is Ninja Tribes. What the fuck? What storyline, guys? Here's actually something I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to work on this with my boy Karma. We're going to actually go ahead and create a story for Ninja Tribes for each chapter. And I will be releasing that hopefully as content for you. Uh, and I'm going to make my own damn versions because you know what? The shit they have here is absolutely useless. So we're going to go ahead with chapter one one day. Uh, we will release it for you. It'll be a, a completely made up arc that we create our own. Uh, and we're going to put some animations in there and stuff to hopefully make it uh, a little more lively and better than what we have here. But it will be the premise of what Ninja Tribes is. Essentially using technology to create clones of ninjas. Uh, and it will, it will have to do with the Naruto world. But it'll be a complete made up storyline. So uh, keep up with this guys don't lose track of the storylines the reason why that's important of course is to get your tiles and also with the elite missions guys I'm, as you can see here i'm caught up i'm on the last one so make sure you work on these and collect your fragments as soon as you possibly can and while you can do this uh, while you are doing this sorry you should be also summoning for some ryo summons to get some more fragments for sakura yamato um uh who else they have conquero um you know and all and and like choji if you're going to use him 10 10 uh kiba etc so and specifically, you should be going for your, your speed scrolls because that's going to matter as you get higher up in PvE content, especially and PvP. It's going to matter because speed scrolls are going to help you attack quicker than your opponent. And a lot of the higher end content, you can get one shot. All right. So keep that in mind and make sure you're keeping up with all your your uh, characters. You at least, again, want to have a minimum of 12 characters leveled up. Uh, minimum 12 and if you can do a little bit more that's great but don't stretch yourself thin you also don't want to lose uh, all your resources because the higher you go up in this game the more it's going to cost to obviously get your shinobi up um, i'm going to go get soccer up there get her a couple of these and get her 
ready to go into Tower of Eternity, which is what this video is actually about. Okay, so new players, when you're jumping on Tower of Eternity, as I mentioned before, healers will matter, okay? So healers do matter and they will help you get through this content a lot quicker. So what you wanna do when you jump in here, the first few stages are a joke, right? Stage one, it's easy, uh, but you don't wanna neglect having somebody that can heal your team. And as you can see here, I have a team with Sakura and Naruto. I don't have a tribes team set up yet. This team is actually not optimal at all. This is just what the, the, the auto, auto edit did for me. Uh, I, I always change this. I would never keep this team as is. Uh, although the top part, to be quite honest with you, isn't the worst. Uh, and keep in mind, um, it is completely random, right? In terms of the order here in Tower of Eternity, there is no like, there's no specific order here uh, for like you don't you don't go in with this order is what I'm trying to say. You go in with whatever order um, the the game gives you. And you just have to rearrange that and, and connect it just like you would in Story Mode, right? So Tower of Eternity, pretty straightforward, guys. The first few levels um, are easy as heck. You just have to go through this, uh, kill off the ones who are attacking so they do less damage. Obviously, let's kill off Sai first because he's the only actual SR here, which will have higher stats than everybody else. And then you just go ahead and align these. Now keep in mind, when you are playing this game, uh, Tower of Eternity specifically, you are going to maintain your tribe gauge through every round, your health maintains through every round, uh, and your character's jutsu maintain. But the things that do reset every single time are going to be your buffs and your debuffs, so you do have to reapply and apply those over and over again. Um, so. The purpose of Tower of Eternity, there's a couple things. Number one, you get Ryo every day, you get Shinobi coins every day, uh, you get yourself uh, uh, Talisman scrolls every day, so you get yourself experience points, and at the same time, uh, you can use those to get yourself Darui and other, other great items, such as the, obviously, Talisman EXP, which is very, very much a requirement uh, for future content and content now. Uh, so definitely work on Tower of Eternity. Now, it is the only piece of content that doesn't require you to use stamina, outside of, obviously, the event stuff, uh, and the thing with or i guess and, and arena and nwt but we'll talk about those later uh the one thing i would say for sure though is make sure if you are going to be uh playing this game you use your jutsus correctly so i'm going to teach you guys something a trick new players especially a trick that you might know know of already so if you click on your character's icon and you hold the icon down you can actually scroll up and remove the jutsu and you can actually save your jutsu uh, uh, for the other round. So that's important. If you want to use your jutsu, you can scroll back up and reactivate them, okay? So that's a really good trick. And another really cool thing about this is the skill twos that characters have, right? If you hold it down here, uh, they have a little kunai here. That means their skill twos are active. Now, skill twos have a, uh, a chance to be activated every round with, with any of your characters. And you'll see they have a little title under their name. You can actually read what the skill two is for every character in their bio. Uh, and you can, it, it's good sometimes to use a skill two over jitsu especially if you have um characters who do buffs that you want before jitsu happens on the next round that kind of scenario right so make sure you guys are, are exploring that and using that as a as a trick that you can use for further battles and get, advance yourself without wasting jitsus okay that's that's a little trick that a lot of veterans didn't even know for a long time until we showed the, we showed them that in the videos right so uh keep that in mind all right so here we go we have uh isc essentially geez feel bad kicking my, kicking my own team's ass. Um, so that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit Eno here. Now, the reason why Eno is a, a target you want to take care of in the beginning, it's because of her single target confuse. It can mess up your order of the three here, uh, which is really annoying to deal with, to be quite honest. But again, I'm not going to use my Jitsus, guys. This isn't really a requirement right now. I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys off. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and kill Shikamaru here, again, being the only SR. I'll have higher stats, but these guys are pretty straightforward. You guys should be able to clear up to 10 without any problems. Now, I will say this. A lot of people don't know this about Tower of Eternity. Uh, if you actually do not log in for one day, your Tower of Eternity floor will go down, which means you have to go back and redo the Tower of Eternity. And every 10 stages, guys, you guys are saved to Tower of Eternity so you can... Um, uh, just log in every single day, collect your rewards, and log off, right? So make sure don't waste that opportunity uh, by uh, by missing a day. So that's really why it's called Tower of Eternity. You, for, a turn, for eternity, you literally have to log in or else you lose your spot on the floor that you're on. So that is my conclusion. I don't care what Bandai says. I think I figured it out, and that I'm sticking with that. It's, it's not because there's eternal floors. We know there's only 90 floors. Um, so it's because it forces you to log in every freaking day in order to keep your, <laughs> keep your position in your floor. So there you go, guys. Easy peasy. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the team that I set up, okay? So real quick, so you guys have an understanding of why I set up the team I did. Um, so the team here is comprised of a couple things. Number one, I have a stunner in each cell. Okay, so I have stun, stun, stun. 
all right i have a a unit nuker in each cell in this case i have two there i have uh, a tank here i have a healer here i have semi tank slash stunner debuffer there and then i have a debuffer stunner uh, a buffer and a uh, a nuke and then a nuke okay so the one tank is more than enough here in my case uh because the early floors you really don't need much um as you go as you progress further you may want someone with guard rate you may someone with uh, defense up etc but guard rate is ideally better and damage reduction rate up is way better obviously so if you can get things like that in your uh in your position and in your in your uh, placement of your teams you're gonna go a lot further but make sure also guys just to save yourself a little bit of a hassle get a healer other really good healers that i have or i don't have right now that i really want would be like mama sakura uh four stars now with her she's a little different because uh she does do a heal per round that she's available she does it to all allies right rather than a um sorry i shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have blue instead i wasn't paying attention but uh yeah so she she actually brings uh, a full aoe heal to everybody rather than sakura t here who will just heal uh just the team right so i'm gonna go ahead and use her right now so i can just heal kiba up a little bit so i don't lose him right uh let's see how much it does for a heal yeah, 6,000. I mean, that brought him up to full, and that's exactly what I wanted. So we just need to get that out of the way. Now, she's going to heal. I'm not going to bother attacking. Like, I mean, using my Jitsu. I'm going to kill her off with Baruto here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and move on. Now, remember, every 10 floors, this will be saved. All right? So just keep going till you can reach as far as you can. And you can use multiple teams. So sometimes it's a good idea to save some of your better teams for later on. Uh, you don't want to always just use your best teams right from the get-go because you can lose a little bit of health and it, it makes later on content harder if you don't have healers to heal you up. So just sometimes it's better to just wait, uh, use crappier teams, go as far as you can, and then sub in your better teams. Uh, but always let the... the here, and here's a tip. Before you do that though, make sure your better teams build up their jitsu to max and then swap them out because that way when you bring them back in they're fully available with their jitsus and they can pretty much one hit everything that's on the screen and you can move on and, and continue going from there all right so i'm gonna go ahead guys and get through this one here and then we're gonna stop uh, and we're gonna talk i'll show you guys my results at the end of it all in a, in a little still pick um but yeah it's it, this is essentially what you want to do guys you as a new player you really want to focus on getting through tower returning as far as you can and then coming back once you gear like once you have a hard stop because there's a power hard stop eventually you want to come back once you level up a little bit and get your characters higher up and then continue doing this until you to max it out right and again um the the rewards are worth it i promise you because as far as you the further you go the more you'll get for uh all of the um all of the bonuses in terms of uh um what i say here the the bonuses for the um the coins that you can get darui the coins you can get uh, your scrolls and talismans so don't miss out on that make sure you are working on this because it will take you really far in the game a lot of people neglect scrolls and talismans and it's one of the worst things you can do because then they'll meet up and be like hey what's wrong with my team i have everybody at four or five stars you know i'm not doing anywhere near the dps you're doing well you you know it's the first place i usually take people can you show me your gear and then i go scrolls and talismans and 90 percent of the time guys scrolls and talismans are completely neglected and that makes people completely confused on why they're not beating content well that's probably why because you have to get those coins in order to purchase as many as you can uh to max out your characters as much as possible all right guys so i'm going to continue doing this that is the video essentially in a nutshell uh so you should be day three around 77k is as a common goal um again i'm not paying any money on this i'm refreshing stamina three times a day using machino coins uh, i'm doing five matches of arena until i know i can do more and in this case now i actually can beat the opponents there Get, got myself to 24 obviously uh, in 10 matches um which is not bad in three days to be quite honest with you uh and then also moving on and completing the tower of eternity storylines as well as farming uh the elite missions to get yourself fragments for your characters all right guys that's what you should be doing this is pain hope you enjoy the video we'll talk soon